Hey guys, Tank here, back with the shaky hands, and uh, I got a doozy for you. I've already tried to film this once. I got highly pissed off. Maybe just roll a snippet from that original cut right here. Boom. You I'm out. Washington State, a couple months ago, your go the governor, uh, Jay Inslee, Attorney General Bob Ferguson, and a few other people had this press conference about what they wanted to do with the le legislative session of 2023 once it starts in January. All it was was about how they are going to get rid of guns with all these different stupid ass bills. And now they got five proposed ones, which I will read to you based off of this screenshot I took from Arrow Precision's uh, Instagram page, what they are, what they mean, and just bring it to you. Uh, if you haven't noticed already, I am a Washington State resident, everyone's favorite flannel daddy, Grand Throne. He, I think, still lives here. I heard a rumor they're moving to Idaho, though. Some of his videos have already been filmed in Idaho. Anyway, um, so guys like him live out here. Uh, Yankee Marshall, I think we're it. So this would affect them, along with manufacturers such as Aero Precision, uh, Zev, uh, Zev Technologies. Uh, I believe they're from Washington. Zavari, they're from Washington. Maybe that's why I'm thinking Zev. One of those two. Rainier Arms, Ghost, Grey Ghost Precision. Today, Junior. Grey Ghost Precision, which I think they already moved. Uh, who else is out here? Olympic Arms, are they still around? <laughs> anyway, there's a bunch of manufacturers that, you know, are home to here in Washington, and one of these bills would affect them as a business. So let's just dig into this. I will try to stay calm as possible through this one. No promises. Let's get started. So I'm gonna also put the screenshot up on the screen as I read them, so I'll direct you by like, hey, we're going top left, which is where we're starting. Top left with HB 1178. Uh, if passed, would it end state preemption, allowing cities, counties, and municipalities to implement gun control ordinance and regulations? So what does that mean? Okay, so this would allow counties and municip all them, municipalities, cities, to further enact other gun control laws worse than what's already trying to be passed here in Washington. You didn't used to be able to do that. For example, sometime while I was in school, so we'll say junior high, early high school, I was around 15 years old, something like that. Mayor Greg Nichols of Seattle at the time, former Greg, former Mayor Greg Nichols, and his legislation attempted to pass some gun control measure in Seattle that would basically make Seattle in its entirety a gun-free zone uh, and that included uh, businesses weren't allowed so FFLs were not allowed to exist within Seattle city limits uh, I believe possession carry definitely was a thing just entirety of Seattle is a gun-free zone Second Amendment does not exist in uh, the state of Washington back then at least said hey no it doesn't work that way uh, you can't do that that is preemption um this would eliminate that so Seattle probably will be the first one to be like okay Ow, mother fucker. Seattle would be one of those first places to be like, okay, guns are not allowed here in Seattle no more, period. I mean, who cares about the rest of these laws? Just no, they're not allowed to exist. I can guarantee you King County as a whole too, probably. Uh, and King County is not fun. Moving on. Now we're in the top center. HB 1180, if passed, would ban the manufacture, sale, purchase, and transfer of so-called assault rifles. Okay, so this goes into what I said earlier about all the different manufacturers here in the state of Washington. And also, um, I gotta point out something to you. We have this bill called 1639 the past few years back. Just to explain that, in order to purchase an assault rifle, their words, not ours, assault weapon, uh, you have to take a course, which was never defined, that shows that you are uh, proficient and competent to own one of those. By doing so, uh, you also surrender your HIPAA right so they can look into your medical records, which is against the law on its own. And then supposedly, which never happened, uh, Sheriff's Department somehow is supposed to do a yearly background check on you uh, just for being an assault rifle owner. The thing is, in Washington State, all rifles that run semi-automatic, be it an AR-15 or a Granddaddy's M1 Grand and anything in between, even the Ruger 1022, that is an assault rifle under the definition of Washington State. So, banning the sale, purchase, transfer, so-called assault rifles, if they're going based off 1639's definition, guaranteed they will, you're now, you can only possess, you know, your handguns, shotguns, bolt-action rifles, lever-action rifles, that's it. Uh, everything else is gone. Store shelves are going to be empty real quick, if not because of this law, because people are going to buy them up. Moving on. Uh, HB 1143, 
creates a uner wonderous uh, I never claim to be smart. Creates a permit to purchase requirements for all firearm sales in the state. So not only are you know all the fun guns gonna get banned, but just to buy a firearm in general, you gotta get a permit for it, you know, to exercise your right that you shouldn't need a permit for anyway. But you're gonna have to have one. Again, trying to stay calm. Moving on. Enhance uh, HB1144, that's gonna be your bottom left. Uh, enhance background checks to add additional disqualifiers for citizens wishing to purchase a firearm. Okay, so the big argument on both sides is focusing on mental health, correct? Granted, the left kind of, you know, only says that, but then they punish us all gun owners. But, you know, the right, some people on the right are like, hey, why are you doing that? Not focusing on the people that are actually, you know, fucking insane. This, from how I'm reading it, could decide, you know, hey, so if you've ever met a psychiatrist before, or um, you're going to be disqualified. Uh, if you've ever mentioned to your buddy that just happened to be the wrong person to mention it to, that maybe have some... PTSD nightmares from even just an abusive parent, you're disqualified. You know, it could be actually used for some good, like, hey, this guy's bipolar and has a history of manic disorders. Okay, cool. But again, could be used against just people with a little bit of a problem. Took a pause because the girlfriend came home. So far, so good. I'm staying home. Uh, we're on the last one here on the bottom right. SB 5078 eliminates immunity for firearm manufacturers and allow citizens to sue businesses for criminal misuse of products. Okay, so if you don't already know what that means, uh, let me explain it to you. When someone commits a mass shooting, right, what's the first thing the politicians always blame? The gun. Not the person, the gun. And then they want to blame the manufacturers for even making the damn thing in the first place. Here's the thing, though. Do we sue General Motors when someone gets one of their vans and runs people over in Britain? No. Do we sue Milwaukee for someone grabbing a fucking, you know, a hammer or a hatchet and beat someone over the head with this till they're dead or cut their head off? No, we do not. We blame the criminal. However, when it's guns we're talking about here, all of a sudden it's the gun's fault. And even worse, it's the manufacturer's fault, right? That's dumb. So my opinion on this, and this has been my argument, if you're going to sue one manufacturer for a crime, then you should be able to sue them all, correct? And since you can't sue them all, you shouldn't be able to sue any. It's a snowball effect. But are they? No. It's just going to be the manufacturers, because apparently they're the only industry we can't sue when someone uses bullshit. Bullshit. You just never sued anyone. Blame the person, not the tool. Period. This will not kill anyone unless I pull the trigger at their head. Am I ever going to do that? No. So long as no one breaks into the house. Do I want to do that? No. I have no intent. Zero. Zilch. Nada. However, I know that is a possibility as a gun owner that there may be a day where someone breaks into my house and I might have to use it. That's it. So. That is what's happening here in Washington State. Will these pass? You don't want to know the answer to that. Uh, just the way the government works these days. Yes, you should contact your representatives, your your senators, your congressmen, your representatives, all of them. Hell, fucking flood Jay Inslee's inbox and Bob Ferguson's too. Uh, with your disagreement and your wish for them to not pass this stuff. That's all you can do right now. And hopefully it works, but will it? Probably not. Uh, because everything else, like the ATF's pistol brace rule, doesn't matter what the fuck you think, it only matters what they think. And they're gonna pass it anyway. So Washington, uh, unfortunately, chances are, is probably going to be doomed to be a place where the Second Amendment just doesn't exist. Um, until next time, guys, I will see you later. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give me a like, comment, Comment down below, I don't give a fuck what you have to say, it could be negative, it can be positive, just comments in general are good engagement, so let's go. Uh, until then, I will see you next time.